Today we will demonstrate Lippert Components Ground Control 3.0 Leveling System for fifth wheels. There are a few conditions you need to follow prior to operation. One, the trailer is parked on a reasonably level surface. Two, be sure all people, pets, and property are clear of the trailer while the leveling system is in operation. Three, make sure the batteries are fully charged and test at 12 plus volts DC under load. Four, chalk the wheels on the trailer. Five, using the pull pins on the landing gear, drop the inner legs to a height of four to five inches off the ground. Before we begin, the one-touch leveling system has the following features. A mini touchpad, the one control touch panel, a leveling app, the MyRV app, and individual jack control. The mini touchpad was designed to be mounted on an exterior wall, in a baggage compartment, or in a quick access panel of the coach and is completely waterproof. It is a quick and easy way for the user to access the basic leveling features from outside their coach. These include extend retract landing gear, auto level, hitch height recognition, retract all. To power up the mini touchpad, simultaneously press the up and down arrows along the left side. The green LED will light up when it is active. Pressing the up or down arrows individually will extend or retract the landing gear. The landing gear are used to raise the front of your fifth wheel to unhitch from your tow vehicle. Now, pull the tow vehicle away and park it at a safe distance. Please note, once the automatic leveling cycle has started, it is important that there is no movement in the trailer until the trailer has completed the leveling process. Failure to remain still during the leveling cycle could have an effect on the performance of the leveling system. Also, in order for the hitch recognition feature to function, the auto level sequence must be started with the front of the trailer above level. After raising the fifth wheel off of the tow vehicle and moving the tow vehicle, press the auto level button. Once the auto leveling sequence begins, the front of the coach lowers to level the coach front and rear. The rear jacks will be grounded, and then the side to side leveling sequence will occur. Each jack will perform a final grounding touch. The OCTP screen will read Auto Level Success. The OCTP display is where procedures and results are displayed. The mini touchpad will power down on its own after five minutes of inactivity. All of these same features and more are provided with the new One Control Touchscreen or OCTP. Not only does the OCTP act as a touchscreen leveling interface, it includes additional features such as a resource for preloaded owner's manuals, videos, troubleshooting information, and FAQs. If the OCTP is not already powered up, press the rectangular power button below the center of the screen. The OCTP is an Android-based touchscreen and requires a typical startup period, usually 15 to 20 seconds. In addition to the leveling app offering the same functionality as the mini touchpad, it also offers advanced features like a manual mode. This allows the user to control each individual jack front, left, right or rear jacks, and an error mode. If an error is present, you will clear the error from the screen. For additional information pertaining to errors, open the MyRV app. Now, let's take a more in-depth look at the individual functions of the OCTP leveling operations. With the leveling app open, you can select either Extend or Retract. The respective button will illuminate when it is selected. By pressing the front button, both front jacks can be extended or retracted at the same time. By pressing either the front and left buttons together or the front and right buttons together, the individual front jacks can be extended or retracted independent of one another. The rear jacks can only be extended when the OCTP is in the manual mode. To do so, scroll the down arrow to manual mode then press enter. The rear jacks can be extended together by pressing the rear button or individually by pressing either the left or right buttons while simultaneously pressing the rear button, depending on which jack needs to be operated. Please note that the middle jacks, if equipped, operate in conjunction with the rear jacks. If the rear jacks won't operate using the manual mode, but they do operate properly when auto level is performed, then the twist prevention protection system has locked out the operation to prevent damage to the frame of the trailer. Please note, if the auto level sequence does not perform as described above, place the system in manual mode and test that the jacks operate correctly by pushing their coordinating buttons on the OCTP individually. 
The front button will operate the landing gear. The rear button will operate the rear jacks. Left will operate left. Right will operate right. The hitch recognition function in Level Up remembers the height of the trailer at the time the tow vehicle is disconnected from the trailer. Remember, though, that if the auto level sequence was started with the front of the trailer in a below level position, the hitch recognition will not function, and the OCTP will display Featured Disabled. In order for the hitch recognition feature to function, the auto level sequence must be started with the front of the trailer above level. Upon completing your camping experience and you're ready to reconnect to the tow vehicle, power up the mini touchpad and press Hitch Height. This will bring the front of the fifth wheel back to the height it was at when the auto level sequence was initiated. The rear and middle jacks, if equipped, will retract and then the front jacks will extend to raise the trailer to the height where the auto level sequence was started. You can now re-hitch the trailer. After re-hitching the tow vehicle, return to the mini touchpad and press Retract All. The landing gear will retract and then you can use the pull pins to return the inner legs to the fully retracted state. Concerning troubleshooting, one of the more common questions RV owners have is how to clear one of the error codes displayed on the OCTP, such as these listed. Based on the error code being displayed, you should first either check the harness connections at the controller and at the jack, looking for any damage. Also, check the fuses at the controller to make sure they are all good. Repair or replace anything that you feel may be contributing to the error. Check your owner's manual, located in the My RV app on your OCTP for more troubleshooting guides. If you have any questions, please call 574-537-8900. Thanks for watching.